Hey guys, this is Shadsoft 11 here, and now that I've finished with Philosopher's Stone, it's time to move on to Chamber of Secrets. Now before we start the game, I just want to apologise in advance for some of the graphic glitches that are going to occur in this cutscene. Like, look at those trees. It only happens in this cutscene, the opening one, and look at Harry's glasses. When he was away from school. It's like the kind of thing Cyclops One would wear. A house elf named Dobby appeared. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger. Dobby disappeared. And also, each character has sort of a box they're standing on. You'll see what I'm talking about in the next scene. To rescue Harry from his prison, they flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before travelling by flu powder to in Diagon Alley. There, you see, each character has a Harry box that they're standing on. And went with her to sort of like a reverse shadow, which is very weird. Author, Gilderoy Lockhart was signing his latest book. Great Scott! Is Great that... Scott! No, surely not! It is! It's Harry Potter! Boy, this is heavy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of defense against the Dark Now one thing that you'll notice that an improvement over the last game is there is actual lip movement. I mean it does like flap a bit. So it's improved but it's not quite there yet. Famous Harry Potter can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want to I find it funny how Potter, the one who voices Ginny in this is much better than the actual Ginny in the films. Your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Okay, that's a suspicious book. Foreshadowing. And now this next bit, which doesn't really make any sense. As soon as Harry leaves the bookshop, everyone else seems to have magically disappeared. <laughs> Magic, so the joke's on me, Harry, I guess. We've missed the train. The Hogwarts and the train left minutes five minutes ago. ago. Oh, what was Harry no. doing in there all that time? Must do? have been taking the world's longest no. shit or something. I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. He's parked in Charing Cross Road. Okay. And the only way they can get to, get to school get now school is if they time. use a flying car. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see but anything then. here. <gasps> the irony! Phew, that was close. I think we're almost there. Hmm. That didn't take very long uh -oh. for a castle that's supposed to be out. out of the way. Come on, car. And once again, I'm not being serious. But unlike Shadow of the Colossus, this is a game that's safe to make jokes about. Stop! 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 Well, that's what it reads. So after Harry he seems to have fell out the car, I guess he wasn't wearing his seatbelt. Ron's been caught, and now we have to save him. Don't worry, Ron. I'll come and get you. So now the Just gameplay starts, and I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. Now, and it plays similar to the last game, except one thing that's a noticeable improvement: you can now move whilst casting spells, which you couldn't before. And also, you can sidestep as well. So. So the tank light controls in the last game are now improved, and you'll see how this makes combat much easier. And he climbs, feels more fluent as well. And it's just overall better. 
So this is like the compulsory tutorial level, which, in case you didn't play the first game, it tells you how everything works. Now, the save game books, I think, in this game, they take longer to save, which is a little annoying. It's not too bad. It's much easier to cast spells. This game has Flipendo, Alahamora, and Lumos, but it doesn't have Wingardium Leviosa or Incendio. Wow, he knew that the chocolate frog was going to come out before the chest even opened. But it is a thing that's annoying about chocolate frogs. They keep jumping away from you. Now, the concept of like secret rooms that can be unlocked is something that is explored much greater in this game. I still think there's some secrets I've left to find, because I doubt I've found everything. Get under this branch. Good job, Harry. Now, see if you can cast for a pendo on this branch to get it off me. I think I see a sensitive spot right there. Bullseye. Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. You're very much welcome, Ginger. Oh no! And the car flies away. Come back! Great. My dad won't be happy that I lost his flying car. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. And Lumos has more Not uses in this Lumos game as well. Instead of just making platforms, it can also things. sort of open up doors and uncover secrets, so... Yeah, they gave it more practical use. To jump, run to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Try collecting the um, first things first though, I wanna run, I wanna know how the fuck you're able to jump all the way over there. In that short time span. Oh. Get back here, you chocolate frog. Harry, you need to get onto this ledge over here. How the fuck did he do it? I mean I'm just clueless. Okay. See, Lumos also casts open doors. Or walls, I should say. <laughs> That's pretty neat. Of course, if you see anything that looks like it could be a secret, just try and aim and cast away. And you might be surprised at what you find. And the wizard cards have been upgraded as well. There's now three different types of wizard cards, bronze, silver and gold. There's a total of 101 to collect, as opposed to 25 last time. will allow you to access the folio magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. The rain has stopped. At least we'll be dry when we get expelled. Come on, we'd better get up to the storm. Now, unlike in the last game, the Hogwarts grounds are a lot more explorable as well. Okay. 
Okay, that's one thing I do think a little annoying. It's a bit of a nitpick, but the chests in this game, when they give you beans, in the first game they like shot them all out at once. In this it's like do, 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 and you have to wait for all of them. But again, that is a bit of a nitpick. It takes a bit longer than it needs to. And into the castle we go. The Gryffindor dormitory is just over here to the right, remember? Well, no, because the only time you saw it in the first game was through cutscene. You didn't actually know where it was. But anyways, let's get off to bed. So we're following Ron up the spiral staircase to the Gryffindor common room, but there's just one slight problem. We want to get in, but finally, there's the portrait of the fat lady. Give her the password and let's go to bed. I thought you'd have the. We don't have the password. Why would I have the password? Why would I have it? I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I better know who would have it. There you are. Hermione. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please, we're tired. Could you just tell us what the password is? Wattlebird. It's good to see you again, Harry. Yeah, it's good to see Harry again, but she obviously doesn't give a shit for teachers' pets and gingers. There you two are. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. And Fred and George. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. It's based on Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. Yep. Again, it takes Fred the concept from the first game, but builds upon it. Opportunities throughout Hogwarts. And that's what this game Some does in general. It, like, trade. builds upon concepts beans, that were already we'll done in the first game. Are we supposed to get all these beans? It does what all, all good sequels place. should do, really. It's not hard to find them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. Just a lot more an expansive game It'll overall, and you'll see you, as sure. we get further into the game. Ron doesn't have a clue what he was going on about. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Whomping Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his Okay, so that's all I'm going to show you for this part. I'll see you next time when we continue with Chamber of Secrets.